Uh, my name is Glenn Dillon. Um, I'm the costume designer, co costume designer on Rogue One, the Star Wars story, and the uh, Solo, the Star Wars story. And um, I was concept artist on The Force Awakens. I started out like I said, on, the Force, on The Force Awakens as a concept artist and that meant that um, I was doing drawings for and coming up with ideas for Michael Kaplan who is the designer and you have a relationship where um, we go to meetings with the director and it's a conversation and you try and come up with ideas for the characters um, and because Michael is the designer he would um, uh, see my drawings and um, maybe offer suggestions or, or amendments um, but we had quite a good re a trusting relationship where he kind of let me come up with things you know uh, on my own um, and then from that experience um, I knew that um, that maybe if I worked with someone uh, that I, I'd like to do the same kind of thing so um, Dave Crossman who is the supervisor costume supervisor on episode 7 he, uh, which means he's very experienced he's been making costumes uh, in charge of making costumes since he was a young man um, so he had all the experience of how things are put together and made and being in charge of the budgets and stuff so I asked because I was, became good friends with him I asked him if we could team up together to be the co-costume designers on Rogue One and he was up for it and um, we met Gareth Edwards and Gareth liked my work so we teamed up and uh, it means that you're basically being a costume designer means you're you design clothes but you're in charge of other people who design clothes and you are in charge of uh, the workshops and making sure everything gets done on time and how you want it to be done it's um, there's, we have a lot of people, a lot of amazingly talented people who work for us. Um, Kylo Ren was one of the hardest uh, characters to um, design because it was um, it was very difficult to. Um, JJ wanted to do something new, and when we were first working on it, the the character, the story of the character, was a bit different to how it how you end up seeing it on screen. So for quite a long period of time we were working to a slightly different brief um, where the character was in some ways more like Vader, he was more damaged and the, the mask was maybe needed uh, to help him like Vader's mask was. Um, then at a later point that changed um, and for a long time JJ wanted to avoid the Vader connection. He didn't want to repeat, you know, um, that. So he wanted to steer clear of that. But then, as the story progressed and the character grew, it, and it was obvious that he was very influenced by Vader, then it allowed us to 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 edge more towards a feeling of that Vader influence. Um, but for a long time, we just weren't. Uh, we weren't hitting on the right thing and, and JJ was asking for things that were quite horror orientated but then when he'd see it he didn't like it so and one thing he said that I latched onto was he said I want a kid who's sitting on the back seat of his mum's car to see the post of Kylo Ren and like jump off the car seat and say mum I want to go and see that film I want him to be blown away him or her to be blown away by that image so I thought what was it that blew my mind when I was a kid and I was thinking of um, the illustrator Chris Foss who did the amazing spaceships for, um, uh, for book covers, science fiction book covers and so the kind of the stripe idea uh, and that kind of thing came from that that influence um, and when JJ saw the one with the, the four stripes on he was like yeah I like that and then it built upon that and um, I made a little like plasticine model of how I saw it and then we scanned that into a computer uh, and worked with Sam Williams and Zeb Brush 
and we built it up and and that's kind of pretty much how it ended up. Okay. Uh, he was great, he was really funny, um, obviously very talented. Um, um, I really like working with him, he was really good. I can't tell you anything, I didn't work on The Last Jedi okay. because um, we were busy doing the Rogue One reshoots and then we went on to the Han Solo film. Okay. I can tell you, I can tell you it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. I can tell you I think um, everyone's going to love um, the Han Solo and Lando relationship and Chewie of course. I, you know, I think it's going to be really good. Oh, I never thought of that. I mean, I love it. I'm such a big fan of the Star Wars films. I'd happily keep on working for them for another 10 years. So, um, uh, I haven't thought of anything. I'd happy to stick with Star Wars. Well, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of the original trilogy and there's well, they were such great designs. Um, I'm a big fan of Ralph McQuarrie and Joe Johnson and, and John Mollo, so I think they did a great job. I wouldn't want to redesign anything. <laughs>